guys welcome to my youtube channel in this video i'm going to show you some basic and important commands in linux operating system especially if you are a new linux user you are going to learn a lot this video will be talking about how to create a file how to create a directory how to move between directories and how to copy files how to copy directory how to get more help how to move a file how to rename a file and several other things that a beginner will need when using linux operating system for the first time all right maybe for some reason i believe we should have um login as a user because that's the first thing you are going to just like you logging on to your windows machine so and even if you don't know how to do that when setting linux environment up you are going to get some prompt to do that so that doesn't even require any knowledge or so just by default and the system will tell you when to create the username and password but that just by the way after signing in then you have your username and if you look at the screen at, the, at this point you are going to see quite some things so you have a molani here at ola server there are Olani that you can see that's the username and that Ola server is the host name of this machine for example if i should switch to another user now you are going to see that Olani will change to the other user's name all right so one way to switch to the root user is using sudo i think i and this one of the main commands you'll be using especially if you are working as a, uh, an admin so it's asking for my password because it's on switch so now i'll switch to the root user and you can see the name has changed from molani to root but the other server still remains that so i'm going to show you how to change that as well now so i can you change the host name of a machine very simple we'll be using an editor here ah sorry before you even get into that the host name is located at this directory etc no the root etc for slash host name so this is the location <laughs> so this is the location of the where the host name is stored because everything in everything in everything in um in linux is everything in linux is a file it's regarded as a file so if we should um this source name that you can see now is regarded as file but you can still modify it so the command that i ran this command um simply print out the content of that host name file that's why you can see all our server here so we can modify it and change it if you want but that's just like a little bit above um the concept of this um particular video but just wanted to know that the first thing you can see is the host name the username sorry then followed by at then the host name another thing that you should keep in at the back of your mind is that if you notice from the first line where we have a line here at the last server we have a dollar sign at the end of that line and then um, if you look at the root user we have something like a hash at the end of that line and that shows that if you are a root user you are going to get a different prompt we call it prompt actually so hash is used to recognize a root user's prompt while dollar sign is used to recognize a normal user's prompt so that's another thing to figure out the kind of user that is using the terminal at that point all right so that's by the way so now you have a um, good understanding of this um, basic prompt so the first thing we are going to talk about is um let's talk about some directories so just before um the hash sign here that you can see and just before the dollar sign at the top here you see something like tud something like this can you see that just before the hash sign toward the left so we call it tud in linux it simplifies the home of the user's directory that is is this the i mean the home directory of the root user at this point so that's what that sign means 
everything in Linux has meaning, so don't everything that you see on the screen is not there by mistake or by luck, it has a meaning. So, this we call it um, TD. It has uh, um, the meaning is that I'm the I am in, currently in the home directory of this user. So, let's say I want to change to the root directory of this machine because the root directory is the um basic or the entry point to all directories on this machine so just like the root of a tree like if you take away the root then you have um the tree is no more alive stuff like that so you can switch to the root directory of this particular machine and to switch there you use a um, forward slash that's the path to the root directory of a linux system however to switch we use something called cd that is chain directory that's what it's used to switch so then you give the part the part you want to switch to is the root directory and i said four slash is used to identify the root directory so if you should do this now you notice that that td is gone now we have um four slash and then that is one way to switch from one directory to another directory and um, something else before we talk more about switching directories is how can you see the content of a directory let's see before you know we are at um, the home directory of the root user let's go back there now i can see the content of this home directory of the root user so, so this content of the directory we use ls simply stands for list so if you do ls it's going to show you the content of this particular directory and at this moment i have nothing you can see at this um, directory so if i should switch back to the root directory of this machine and i run that ls again and see the content here now as you can see i have some files in fact i have a lot of um directories then couple with that there are some files in here so maybe you can see that let me adjust some settings on my screen probably be able to see that All right, so now you can see we have um, I have the bin folder, dev folder, and so many other folders and some files as well. So LS is used to see the content of a directory, and um, just like in Windows, you know, you have some hidden files, hidden directories. So we have such in here as well. To see the hidden directory of any directory, you still use ls, but you pass some options to it. So you use hyphen la. So that will give you. Um, sorry, that I have not gotten there. Uh, let me clear the screen. To clear your screen, you can just type clear. So what I intend to show you is um, ls hyphen a. So it's going to show you. If you notice, when I run l, uh, let's compare that with just ls. Can you see ls doesn't give you this dot um this dot and double dot are um are directories on their own so l just ordinary ls will not give you those but ls i think will give you that is this ls i think gives you all the directories including the hidden directories and files in a particular directory so that's the purpose of ls i think here and if you want to see more details about a directory of file in linux um just details beyond their name just like if you open your windows directory and you have some files in that particular directory you know you can just sort it into like um names where we created the files and the last dates so the files were modified and things like that so you can also do that in um linux so in a, a quick way to nice <laughs> The way to do that is you have even done it before so just ls hyphen l you can use ls hyphen l to do that but this will not give you the hidden um directories as you can see the dot dot went away so we can pass a to that again ls hyphen l a and we are going to get all of that so what you are seeing here is um what you are seeing here now is something interesting guys if you notice we have the names towards the right they are in blue and these fancy colors and before the names in fact starting from the edge of the line here 
you have d and then um, what this all of this says is that um tells you more about that file for example um let me clear the screen so that um i run this command again the first one that i will see here that um this dot dot or let's just come to the bottom one i think that will be better uh, we have the name of this folder is var var then no video assistant <laughs> okay. var is um the folder in the root directory that stores information about the server about the server on this um, machine so it's one of the important um, directories in the root directory by the way so if you notice we have drw at the far end of the screen here so what that d stands for is that this particular file you are seeing is a directory it's a directory and that's what the first character on the line says if you notice we have the up to this point and all this one says is means that this is just an ordinary file when you see hyphen it means it's just an ordinary file then when you see l it means that is a link link file you see has been it's a link so we have some other links look at this all of these are links 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 then we have another link and things like that there are several types of files but links directory and ordinary text those are the most common types of files in um, linux so after that first um, section we have um, permission sections we have um, you notice the rw x blah 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 those are the permissions that are available on this file on that on each particular file if you notice when you come back to that var again we have um the arg wxr that arg means um the content of this folder of this directory rather is readable that arg stands for readable and then w means the, um, you can write into this file you can read the content as means you can read the content of this folder directory w means you can write into this directory and x means you can execute this directory i might be thinking why do we need the execute um execute is important but i think it's a little bit advanced compared to this but just to understand that x stands for execute and um, it has its use cases if you notice we are um after that x there is like another hour which is um looking similar to like um, repetition of the first hour that we have uh, we have our hyphen x and then uh, what means is that the first set of rwx those three are for the root if you notice we have um 13 root root the first root is the user like the owner of this file so the first root stand is the name of the owner of this file and the other root starts for the group the group that is um the groups that have access to this file so just like you have the owner and the group then you have different set of um permissions for this owners and group on this particular file so our wx is for the owner then the other r is for the group then if you notice the group in this case doesn't have a right access to this directory that's why uh, it is i find out then x the group as um, executable So x the group as executable right on this directory then um the last one that you see are is for others call it others just other users on this machine so they are not even listed after the second root but just know that it stands for others so there are some little details about um directories and files in um in linux something else that i uh, should i want to show you is um how to make a directory just mkdir that's how to create a directory so we can just call this um test now we have make a directory so if you should do ls now this um if you should do ls now then we have um test as you can see look at that on that sys that's the directory we just created and we can see the into that directory So, no there's no that that's another thing you should put at the back of your mind linux is case sensitive so small letter test is different from cd um so these are two different things 
So the first one didn't work while the second one worked. It means Linus is case sensitive, guys. So you should put that at the back of your mind. And then something else that I wanted to show you is that if you want to go back to your previous directory, you can just do CD dot dot and it will take you back. Alright, now we've shown you how to create a directory. Then how can you create a file? That's also simple. Touch, let's say test.txt. That's how to create a file. If you should do a list now, you should see that. Um, can you see at the top of temp here yeah, you have um, test.txt that's how to create a file and how to create a directory in Linux operating system and then I believe this little info are enough for a beginner and for me you can just develop your Linux skills see you in the next video guys